Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. My name is Patrick Harpsichord Sklar. Hey, and this is, again, this is uh, myself and Patrick facing off. This is the last game of the day. And we have quite the game. This was, I think, the most fun game I had this day. Oh, shucks. Aw. Stop uh, it. <laughs> it was really... You were good too. Oh, thank you. Um, it was really exciting. I have very little experience playing against Harpsichord, let alone less experience playing as Laramie. Yep. Uh, you know, this Harpsichord deck is cool. Thank you. It's not like other Harpsichord decks I've seen, I but I feel this is the way they wanted it to be built. Right. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we're not going to spoil too much. I think um, there's this moment when you play Netrunner in which you, uh, you kind of raise your hands in shock and surprise and something <laughs> maybe horrible has happened but you kind of just <laughs> maybe excited maybe your apartment's been blown up because something cool has happened and yeah. this game has so has more than one of those moments and normally netrunner if you're lucky doles out one per game yeah that's that's a good amount but this is cool i like this yeah. um it looks like we have an install i we, drew i install and i sweep sweep right so a siphon you're worried about the, them siphon maybe yeah, yeah maybe okay. criminal's gonna siphon me i don't know could be i have a desperado and i'm gonna dirty laundry on to that r d force a draw of a card i don't know what that is maybe i'm helping you and we oh see it's an offer you can't refuse an offer you can't refuse that's such a strange card choice patrick well yeah. yes it is patrick yeah yeah patrick um <laughs> So that's an interesting card. I think there's going to be some strange on-access agendas. That's what I'm guessing from uh, this. That would be a wise assumption. Yeah. I want you to be accessing agendas. Yeah. So uh, that is interesting. I think this is another one of those matchups where my in seminars are not going to be the best. No, I love being milled. As yeah. Card. Yeah. Getting card draw is a big deal, let alone the unscheduled maintenance that I have in this deck to prevent Glacier is also not going to be a big deal. No, I do have a decent amount of ice, but I'm not going to play all of it. No. So that's a hedge fund. You're up to 13 credits. Uh, I do have the means to make three credits for at least one click a turn. And right. you are going to be doing some empty uh, some remotes. Like that's a, that's a free three credits there that yep. you gave me. And Absolutely. the fact that you're doing that may, I can't tell. Is there meat damage in here? Who knows? <laughs> um, I'm going to run on R&D, Laramie up a card. And that is uh, Jackson Howard. Of course, that you're trash that Jackson. Easy trash, especially with Laramie. Yeah, but I, I don't mind. Nope. Because you're already making me draw. Like, I use Jackson more for drawing than for bringing cards back. Right. So I'm kind of helping out. Uh, that is three credits there on the run. Uh, there's an Eli on top, and that's going to do my turn. i got to remind you to take your credits. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, well, hey, you know, you, I had to uh, do your math for you at the beginning of the game. We didn't <laughs> talk about that, but I guess we're going to talk about it now. <laughs> uh, you got an ice there on the R&D. I have no doubt that's the Eli. Uh, could be something scarier. I think there are three agendas in hand. You have a lot. Uh, it looks like there's a few. I yeah. saw at least a Beal. I, I saw a Beal. Um, I should be checking that. Uh, the fact that I'm forcing you to draw, I should probably see what that is. I'm going to check that. That is the second Jackson, which you are going to yeah. pop. You're going to put in some Just money all that and card. another and, Jackson. And Jackson. That's a really good use of Jackson Harrod yep. right there. It's a pretty fair use of Jackson. I don't even get my Desperado, but I do get a drug dealer, which I will also then get three credits back to help pay for the drugs, and I will begin to draw. Yeah. So drug dealer, great. Um, yeah, great fun card. Netrunner is very real all of a sudden. <laughs> he went from stim dealer to drug dealer. Yeah, and yeah, drive yeah. Us. No, it's uh, it's getting dark fast. Yep. Um, I got the gang sign. I drew that from the drug dealer, which is cool mm. too. But uh, this is the idea of the deck: is to force you to draw, install the gang sign, get you to a point in which if you score, I generally access from hand, right? And then I score. And gang sign is strong against harp score because you're scoring outside of your own turn. Yeah, which is. Which negates my ability for a moment. Yeah, yeah, that's actually really good. Um, and it looks like we might play a bit of a shell game. Um, I really don't know what I should be watching out for. I know there's some agendas that are bad when I see them. Award bait is rough. Award uh, bait. Yeah. But, that, but, but award bait else? needs some setup. As well. Yeah, I guess it needs some setup to be effective. That is a CVS. Do you trash that? I can't. Remember. No, I don't have a. I don't have any. Um, no viruses in this deck. That's a. New Hollywood Grid, or is it Old Hollywood I believe it's the Old Hollywood Grid. Old New Hollywood, Hollywood Grid is coming out in the next pack. <laughs> um, the Old Hollywood Grid is such a cool upgrade. It's a very weird, cool upgrade. Yeah, it is especially, it encourages you to play a diverse agenda spread. Yep. Uh, if you have one of, it becomes an incredibly... An incredible defensive tool. Yeah, you need to trash it. It's a must trash. Yeah, and in a deck full of agendas that are good on access, 
it forces you to access cards and then not be able to steal them, which is so powerful. Yeah, really, really good. Um, there's Explodapalooza, which is in a new agenda that on access gives the uh, corp five credits. That's right. And if you can access that and not steal, that is horrible. Yeah. That is really rough. And Everything, I think Old Hollywood Grid, if you res that and the access Explodapalooza, Explodapalooza pays for the Old Hollywood Grid. Yeah. And then if they run again, you can just rest some ice now. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, you get that on a server with uh, with a little engine, and that's the five credit up and down server. <laughs> yep, it's a sine wave. It's great. Yeah, it's a little bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, fun. Uh, it looks like it took some money off the dirty laundry. You're gonna refill up that marked accounts uh, drawing up, but you're not installing things. I should really be poking that HQ to find yeah, out what's good. Uh, one. Agenda per turn means you should run centrals at least yes. once per turn. Now with the fairy, I think I'm set. I'm not sure what I'm worried about. Dad Raven. That is a Bastion. I, do you like Bastion over uh, Wall of Static? I'm I almost always put Bastion for Wall of Static. Why is that? Uh, it's just a little bit tougher, a little bit more taxing. Right. I mean, it's more expensive, but usually my decks are rich. Okay. I, I've seen it always as an end of run. It's either on or it's off. I guess, what is it, two to three credits is the difference? It's, it was one credit difference from Wall of Static. Right, right. But it's exactly. one credit for every time they run as well, if they're playing Corroder or... Yeah, okay. That might be worth it. You do have... I guess if the deck has money, it should be fine. Yeah. And you have a lot of money. And that's only from, what? From Hedge Fund, Sweeps Week, and me not Head, putting any sweeps pressure? and Mark Accounts. And you're yeah, not making me res anything so far. Right. So we're going to play that good old shell game, and I am going to see a TGTBT. Yes. And that is a tag. Luckily, I'm, I've am i learned uh, <laughs> that about that last click deal. That's which, right. It's been a few games today where you've been running last click a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been important. And now, I know it can only take one agenda per turn, so is there a point in running the second one, which could be an agenda? Could be an exploded palooza, and that'd be awful. Yeah, I guess money might not matter, but I would feel bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the end, you decide not to, which probably smart. Oh, not really. Actually, that's but the better no, one. You, you can have gotten. You can have known about that one. So I, that's a, a license acquisition. License acquisition. So right. bring back an upgrade or asset from HQ or archives and yeah. res it for free. So that's a lot of money i've just made and that card doesn't make a lot of see a lot of play i and love it the cool thing is that you played that uh after i played the gang sign so i was going to access from hq but you installed it on hq so now gang sign can only allow me to steal a tgtbt yep which is firstly something terrible that i don't want but that is the coolest place to put that um upgrade i think it is some of the best defense against gang sign. <laughs> yeah absolutely i think that's uh, and then i like I can make your gang sign work for me. Yeah, I, I really like that. On Axis, yeah, you get the on Axis effects mm -hmm. and I don't steal. That is phenomenal. Yep. Um, I'm going to poke archives, get some money, cause you to draw. And you purge all virus counters. So Yeah, all those there. virus counters are gone. I do have that HQ interface, which I might want to install. There you go. That yep. does help the gang sign, let alone a normal run. But I have It's also to... going to help me, though. Yeah, yeah, it probably will. Yeah, you know what? If I see... Yeah, okay. Uh, I got to break that bastion. That mm -hmm. grid has to go... And another upgrade on R and D. I and don't, a new server. And a new server. Wait, I, it's been such a long time since I played this game. I cannot remember what is in any of these servers. <laughs> so you have an upgrade and some sort of maybe other upgrade or asset or agenda out there in a server. Would I be crazy enough to put an agenda there? I don't know. I think so. It depends on what that upgrade is. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna see how real soon. I'm gonna check that out. It is an all Hollywood grid, which you res for five. So if it's not a TGPT, it's safe. And I'm going to access it. I don't have a choice to. <laughs> and you gain that money back. And I have to trash that, which I think is four or five. It's four. And come back and steal the TG, uh, that explode police. <laughs> and you get another five credits. Yeah. Oh, my God. The, you know, just, I mean, it wasn't great. It was just kind of taxing. No, that's... Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure yet whether you can leverage the money. But that was hilarious. Yeah, um, I was excited to see the interaction. I think that might be the best case scenario for that card, which is really good. I was really hoping you wouldn't. I was hoping to you wouldn't run it so I could start defending it. But if you did run, it's, it's not, not a total loss. Yeah, yeah. you still know <laughs> that the game is going to go on for at least five more turns, probably, probably maybe four, three turns worst. Right. Now I start defending probably my scoring server. Here. Yep. So that's an ice um, and something it's protecting. I'm going to cause a Laramie Fisk. Uh, I'm going to cause investment seminar. You see, I do have the two shards in yeah, hand. I saw the Hades, yeah. Which is actually really cool. If I can get those out, I can um, do Hades. some really quick accesses on your turn. I could steal. That's the right. Hades is turn. also good against a harpsichord. Yeah. And let's inside job through that server. And that's just an ash, which with the amount of money you have must go. Yep.
Now that card, it, it is a bit anti-synergistic with the agendas I have. Because oh, it doesn't let you access, access them, them, right? But it's there for the times when a person has a film critic or an yeah. imp, and I don't like to see those cards. Are you running... Uh, Snatch and Grab? No, sorry. Um, uh, the Moon. I feel shoot really, the moon. No astroscript pilot. Astro program. Script, no, I don't have astroscript in this deck. Right, that's what I think. I noticed that I did not see that card, and yeah. I don't know. Do you think it would be better with it? I don't know. I mean, astroscript is of course a powerful card. It's really yeah, it's a great. But card. I love the deck as is. Right, and I think adding astroscript wouldn't make it a lot better, honestly. Right, so, and people are going to be playing clot and things like that. Yeah, anyway, that's true. And, but you're yeah. still playing CVS, which I find interesting. I would ex right, assume the this fast version. Events. Was relying more on installing and it, and scoring it in the same turn using a offer you can't refuse. Oh right, right, right. Okay. Um. So it looks like I have been recurring those seminars really yes, hard with deja vu's. My deja vu's are only going to the seminars. I'm not that worried about program trashing. Now a server with two ice deep that's actually pretty difficult for me to get into now with yeah. a limited amount of breakers. I do have. I, yeah, an inside job is just not going to cut it. Yeah. And I think I give you, I hassle you about the way that you keep your credits, which honestly <laughs> is, ah, man. Don't want to say it. Come on, why? tell me. Why oh, do okay. people do this? It's just a mess. It's, do you know, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to go for an inside <laughs> no, no, job. No, 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 let's, let's hatch it out right now <laughs> on YouTube so everyone can hear what's happening. Uh, I'm going to go for an inside job. That's going to get the Crowder out, that Bastion yeah. I have to cut through. I need to get rid of that grid. Otherwise, so much of my deck falls apart. Yep. Especially those access, on access effects, which are going to help you and not me. This also lets me land a siphon. You do have a lot of money, so it might not hurt, but it's going to make me a lot of money. And I'm going to yep. put that Bastion in. I mean that Crowder. To break the Bastion, it is still with three credits and then four more to break the grid. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That's going to take me a while. And I'm going to run Archives for my last click to cause you to draw a card and get a credit. And it's an award bait. Oh my god. What is this? And this is amazing. Oh, is this that, I think it's another award, award bait. And I've just advanced the thing four times. So this is the first one of those moments that I, I it dawns on me on what's happening and how great this is. Um, that is four advancements for no clicks. I can only steal one of those award baits yeah. anyways. You've made one point and given me four advancement tokens. That's yeah. very, so very efficient. That's probably a Beal, which you can get up to seven, which is, what, four-point Beal? It's Lucky you, 30. it's not a Beal. But it's a vanity project. <laughs> yeah, it's a vanity project. Which not only is phenomenal because it's thematically fitting. Mm -hmm. um, well, the whole pack works so well together. Yeah, it well. does. But now you're at five points, you're on game point, and I can only steal one a turn. Yep. If you install a, just a Beal in that server, an Astro, something like that, a 3-2. That's right. I can't really win. I know there's one point in Archives. Yep. So, two, three, four. I could take it. Oh, first, I think we forgot about the gang sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we got the gang sign through that. But I do have the old Hollywood grid, so... Hey. Oh, okay, you can take that. Oh, that's a big deal. That's that a, is a big deal. The I last award bait. So you can advance something. It looks like you're going to advance uh, that ice. Okay. Um, and see an old Hollywood <laughs> grid, which I'm going to yeah. leave. All right. So now that's that's a huge, mm -hmm. huge gang sign. I'm now on, to what, five points? Yep. So five to five. Five to five. And I, with my, I still have a quick left, so I can install a card there. Yeah. The server. So... I can get that card from archives and for sure make it to six points. I just need to get another card either this <laughs> turn mm -hmm. or next turn with or Hades next Shrek. turn. With oh Hades. my god, four clicks! And I'm pretty confident that there's an, uh, an agenda that remote. Whether or not I can get in an advanced advanced card like that, I'm pretty sure is a nice wall. Mm -hmm. I don't see what else would fit. Maybe a, a searchlight or whatever the spotlight. Search, yeah, searchlight. I think searchlight is the advanced one. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna deja vu. What am I looking for? Maybe an inside job. That's mm. an inside job which you're gonna play immediately on that server. You're gonna raise that first dice. It's, uh, a shadow. it's just a shadow. Okay, that's fine. Turn in toll booth. In toll booth. You can't get past the toll booth. That is gonna end my run. And kind of your turn with only two credits. I think I have one click left. Maybe two. Um. To get through the Bastion, it would cost me three. Okay, so there's the argument of Bastion versus uh, yeah, the, there it is actually, right yeah. there. Yeah. Um, I know I can run the marked accounts for three credits if I need it. 
I think you're looking at gang sign. Oh yeah, one thing that came up is whether gang sign can access upgrades, but I think oh it yeah, that's not right. because it says access a card from HQ and right. an upgrade and is in the root. They're of in the HQ. root of HQ. That's right. But that would be a very interesting interaction if yeah. you could choose to access the upgrade. Mm -hmm. That'd be scary. You can choose to access a caprice, maybe. Yeah, be that a, would be very cool. It'd be a very cool card. It's. I mean, they're coming up with a card that does that. So yeah, yeah. Let's see. So now I click for a credit. I, in theory, could have just ran on that uh, market accounts. I think I forget about that. I'm going to break the Bastion to get not an access, but I'm going to install the Hades Shard. And now I realize that right. I am short. I am a click short. <laughs> because all I'd have to do is pop the Hades Shard, and then I could run Archives. Oh, I should have just ran Archives. Man, and gone card off Desperado. Yeah, absolutely. Stolen the agenda. Yep. And then gone back. The thing is, I th I didn't want to run archives because I thought there was a chance that that was a, a five for three or something. That doesn't yep. make a lot of sense. But I didn't want to advance something that in theory you couldn't advance. No, that doesn't work. I think I was worried about you know, I, giving I, you I advance do think, hits. I do think that you messed up a little at the end. Yeah, yeah I totally I, did. I think you're right. I think you oh, still... John just sorry slipped me a hyperdriver. He thought I could use it at this point, and <laughs> yeah. he's totally right. I could have. You could have used hyperdriver. Yeah, and it looks like I'm still gonna have to pop that. We're mm -hmm. gonna get two cards out of there, and I can access. But I am one turn short. I don't even think I'm gonna access. Yeah, because there's a chance. Oh, I don't know why I'm not accessing. Yeah, there's the Beal. But hey, I guess yeah, we'll see game, what's though. in there. Such a good game. <laughs> it came down to that one click, and you know what? I didn't throw out anything that was worth it. There was still only one point in there. I. Could have had it maybe if I grabbed one card out of R and D. That mm -hmm. Beal you had in HQ. I mean, sorry, in HQ. That Beal you had in HQ was perfectly safe for the grid. Yep. Super cool. I was um, really excited about that. You really have to make sure you're accessing every turn. I think. It's yeah, you really do. Way. You need to really be hammering. And if you get an agenda, don't keep running. Yeah, yeah, you got to stop. Yeah, but I'm really, I'm really happy the way this game played out. It's basically exactly how I want it to go. I wanted you to. Just run archives for no reason. Yeah. Trigger the award bait so let me score a vanity project or a beal. Super cool. I that uh that award bait play is awesome. Mm -hmm. But hey, uh thanks so much for watching. This is the the end of the BD Summers kit, uh the second kit, uh this summer. The Cosmos summer bd kit. bd cosmos summer kit too um for what it's worth michael michael m who is the player of the king of the rp he did come first in this tournament i think john might have come second or third i don't want to say anything i'm not sure about uh <laughs> with my my decks uh i came middle of the pack how'd you end up doing uh closer to the top hey nice i think cool i got an altered caddy jones pretty good yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got a scorched earth which i realize i only have one Alt art scorched earth. I right. probably shouldn't put that in. No, you, you decks, shan't. So. You need all three. I've yeah, other guys gets weird. You gotta get the others. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have some new more content coming out pretty soon. Thank you. Bye, guys. Ciao.